So this is April 2, 2020. Very well with this disease, with very minimal symptoms and sometimes no symptoms. And the doctor says if your child does become sick, you should treat it like a common illness, but she says to call your doctor if the symptoms do get worse. <laughs> I've got fucking like two years of this bullshit with these fucking people. children. So he's seeing the impact of Omicron on kids firsthand. The national numbers certainly alarming here. The U.S. had more than 325,000 new COVID cases among children during the week ending December 30th. That's a 64% increase from the previous week. Pediatric hospitalizations are also at a pandemic high. Dr. Hadlin says his message is simple. Get your kids protected. As a pediatrician, as a dad, I promise you, you know, you don't want your kid to be admitted, to be one of these thousands of kids across the country that are getting admitted every day with COVID um, in this Omicron wave. Um, and there's something that we can do to prevent. It's protected. It's funny. Is this duping delight the way he can't help but smile through this crazy shit? As a pediatrician, as a dad, I promise you, you know, you don't want your kid to be admitted, to be one of these thousands of kids across the country that are getting admitted every day with COVID um, in this Omicron wave. Um, and there's something that we can do to prevent hospitalization, and that's getting kids vaccinated. There is growing science that most cases of Omicron are not severe, particularly in kids, but Dr. Hadlin cautioned against thinking of getting COVID like getting a common cold. Yes, the vast majority of people, including kids who get COVID, are probably going to be fine. They'll probably have a mild illness. But I would just say, you know, at what cost, right? There is going to be a small percentage of kids uh, and really people of any age that when they develop COVID, they're going to have severe problems from it and be at risk of death. And we can prevent that. Well, Dr. Hadlin added that there are still a lot of long-term impacts of COVID that we're only beginning to understand, like long COVID, the inflammatory syndrome known as MISC, which can be severe in some kids, and even just removing them from their daily routine when they're sick. These people are fucking crazy. Honest to God, they're just fucking crazy. Oh, my man. <laughs> Taking over our whole life.